got to stare into the enemy's eyes and let him know that he has met his match. That nothing will be denied the one that won't be denied. You have to make it clear to your opponent that there is no quitting you. You have to make it known to him that no matter what he does, you serve a God greater than him. That there's a power on the inside of you that makes you unstoppable. That you are not scared to get in the ring to fight for what you want in life. The flesh of the warrior is mortal and vulnerable with weaknesses, but the mind and spirit inside the champion is a savage force of undeniable will that's fierce and violent to anything that threatens its ambition. Scarred and wounded, the warrior not deterred, he remains steadfast and unwavering faith to the God that lives within him. Alone he fights, blinded by darkness, but still he moves forward, outflanking every maneuver that hell attempts to conquer him with. He he gets bolder and more aggressive with every step he takes toward greatness. Sucker punched by life, knocked down to the mat several times, but he stretches for the ropes to climb out of the mouth of defeat. His emotional jaw broke, exhausted with two black eyes, gasping for air, nothing left in the tank. The enemy sure of victory till he heard him say, I'm hurt, scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt, scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt. Scarred, you'll never ever break me. I'm wounded but not broken. Wounded but not broken. I'm hurt. Scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt. Scarred, you'll never ever break me. Hurt. Scarred, you'll never ever break me. I'm wounded but not broken. Wounded but not broken. Got one shot, don't blow this Distractions, can't focus My mask on, can't show this Too busy, got here glowing That fan base keeps growing Momentum, can't slow it I'm Mozart composing She posing with her hair dyed Fake friends and their twisted lies Contacts, blue eyes Plastic chicks with nine lives Three junkies, just getting high Black ice, touch the sky Blinded by the sun Sunrise, I'm wounded, but still alive. Sweet candles keep burning, the world keeps on turning. I'm seeking discernment, my spirit keeps yearning. School books with no learning. He's a star boy, you earned it. That fire from the furnace, the world is yours and you earned it. Silly Billy keep burning, the world is yours and you earned it. I'm wounded, but not broken. Got one shot, don't blow this. Distraction. Can't focus, my mask on, can't show this Too busy out here glowing That fan base keeps growing Momentum, can't slow it I'm Mozart composing Rock stars, smoking on Cupid cigars Flashing in those rental cars That ain't really who you are I paint you like my teeth I'm wounded but not broken Wounded but not broken Rock stars, smoking on Cupid cigars Flashing in those rental cars That ain't really who you are I paint you like my teeth Wounded but not broken Wounded but not broken Wounded but not broken Wounded but not broken It's Dr. Billy Allsbrooks Blessed and unstoppable Impact 1 billion people The all the motivation Welcome to the Louvre And to God be the glory Your mouth is a creative weapon. It's not a tool for distributing excuses. The first sign of a loser is an excuse. Champions take full responsibility, good or bad, for their outcomes. Tell the world one time what you're gonna do, and that's it. Spend less time talking and more time grinding. Think like a champion. Speak like a champion and then walk it out. Grind 120 all day, every day. Stop making excuses. Champions make adjustments, not excuses. Every time you justify being average, you invite in the enemy. Mediocrity is a dream killer. Your coach, your trainer, your teacher, your foes is not the problem, it's your consistency. You gotta make a decision. How bad do you want it? Average is on the left. Success is on the right. You gotta choose which one you want. A champion's workout 
doesn't officially begin until pain arrives. You see, greatness is right on the other side of pain. So what are you running from it for? You say you want to be successful, then push through it. Stop making excuses and go get it. Very few battles are won under ideal circumstances. So you got to simulate and practice the unknown so that the unexpected will not derail you. Every morning when you get up, ask yourself, how can I put myself in a place where I'll be uncomfortable? See, you have to master the unknown. You got to master your fears. You got to master the unexpected. So when it happens, you are prepared. Champions can push through and keep going when everyone else around them is quitting. They have immersed themselves in pain so often that they have become immune to it. Greatness is on the other side of pain. Go get it! The more you expose yourself to pain, the more comfortable you will become in its presence. A champion's workout doesn't officially start until pain arrives. Everything else is just a warm-up. A boxer can be the best technician in the world. But if he gets in the ring and the first time he gets hit, he falls apart, he's not gonna be a champion, I tell you that. See, and life is just like that with us. We're good until we get hit in the face. But what separates champions from the rest is when they get hit, they keep coming. When you hit them a second time, they get stronger. And by that third time that life hits you and you're still standing, the world will know there's a champion in the ring. How bad do you want to be successful? Do you want it bad enough to get hit in the face? Because I tell you right now, that's what life's going to do to you. It's going to hit you when you least expect it. When you got your guard down, how will you respond? Refuse to let the world break you. Show life. What a champion looks like. I'm Billy Osbrooks, blessed and unstoppable. Cause when I catch on, they're done. See, their need to feel safe has them play in the game of life, Timmy. But you can't win succumbing to fear. To be the best version of you requires boldly attacking the things that scare you. When you feel lost, you breathe life into its potentiality. The hidden inside us is the most dangerous, but when you invite it to the surface and face it, then it becomes a weapon that thrusts you to greatness. Those who seek high achievement must become detectives of the mind. Success requires investigating the darkest corners of one's own thinking for any held beliefs that might rob one of greatness. Personal transformation requires constant examination of the mental programming and belief systems that have been accepted from the world. We must closely question, scrutinize, and disassemble each and every thought, making sure that our thinking will give birth to the type of life that we desire. When you discover yourself, you don't just find you. You find God. My flesh seeks applause, but the fire in me says I don't need it. My God won't fit in the box you keep trying to put him in. The dream too big to bloom in the house that you live in. My love for you is real, but I can't have a conversation down there. My heart burns, but it's hard for your soul to understand what I'm saying. Nothing can stop me. I'm bound for glory. There is no growth without the murder of the lesser in us. Only by dying to the lower levels of acknowledgement can we ascend to greatness. The wolf and dog in us must kill one another. This understanding permits us to climb the stairs of heaven, trading our mortal bodies for the celestial. We thirst for salt water. By drinking from the vast oceans of consciousness, the bridge to eternity is established. Bloody minds allow us to cross over. Virgin thinking, the wings that carry us. Lasting change requires one to first go to the guillotine, to lay the head down blindly on the chopping block. It's vital that we leave no evidence of this conspiracy behind. The previous limited existence of us must be fully eradicated. All memory of what was deleted from
on the record of reality, even the weapon we use to commit this violent act must be discarded. All past awareness washed away in the river of new as we enter the self-induced coma of enlightenment. We must become murderers. Sliding the noose around our own necks. We lynch our false self. Putting the gun to our thinking. We now bow to a greater God. Plotting premeditated acts of identity homicide. The bloodshed and massacre must be intentional. The kitchen knives and forks of deeper understanding penetrate the thief in us. Lying in a puddle of delusions, we slowly bleed to death. The personality dissolving into the belly of the starving Reborn at the butcher shop Our new lungs exhale the divine Are you a murderer? We must kill off our thinking Our old habits Our old ways Our old belief systems To create the new life First we must destroy Destiny's child anxiously awaits to feel your loving arms So precious are the little hands and feet of our dreams The lungs of our unconscious waiting patiently to take their first breath to look into the eyes of our own creation bonds us with God we cannot have full manifestation of ourself until we can first swing the sword tomorrow's son requires us to murder the comfort of today death war and struggle are the building blocks of life we must kill off all traces of the lower version of ourself engaging in active imagination we can recreate the garden we so long for yes. by the Fighting the truth of inner awareness, spiritual procreation takes place. Mount the dream who arouses your soul and protect it with your thinking. All that's left is the flame. I'm bound for glory. The greater the struggle, the greater the destiny. The vicious birth pains of a dream only confirm the importance of it. To give up on a dream is to commit an abortion on a life one could have had. Let us not abandon our future victory for the illusions of today. Ignore not the cry of your own. Ignore not the burning fire within. Ignore not the tiny legs kicking in the belly of your dream. When we slaughter our fetus by way of fear and doubt, we become the victim. Maternal mortality stains us with the blood of what could have been. The inner tensions of needing evidence terminates our pregnancy. Heaven impregnates the imagination, planting its divine sperm in our minds. But it's our faith that must guard the wound that carries tomorrow. Each trimester requires a deeper conviction, a deeper belief that must fertilize the egg. We need not ask for permission to be that which we are. We need not seek approval to dream the dream that we've been given. We need not beg for validation to breathe the air that excites us. All we need to do is just burn! You can't stop fire. Bound for glory! Each level of success that you climb requires more resolve, more discipline, more hustle, more grind, more focus. You gotta wanna be successful more than you fear rejection. See, greatness is on the other side of no. Rejection did not break me. Rejection made me. I want to clear something up. Look, all people are capable of being successful. Every single one of you out there listening to me right now, you are capable of being successful in life. Don't let nobody lie to you. Now to tap into that potential, that capability that you have on the inside of you, that greatness, that champion, that warrior that you have on the inside that's begging to come out. Now to tap into that, you have to adopt the mindset that will produce that. Put an inner stand in a place that will create that. A grind that will build that. Grind is the foundation of come from nothing economics. The law of hustle states that a grind built around mediocrity won't support the lifestyle required to produce success. New Year's resolutions without discipline prolong one's incarceration to mediocrity. See the masses, they're merely satellites of the status quo. Successful people become the gravity that pulls the world in orbit around them. When faith becomes mobilized, transformation happens. So you gotta prove that you believe in your dream by taking action. Let your grind do the talking. Stop overcomplicating things. Success is simple. Dream the dream that you want to achieve and then grind at the level that it takes to produce it. That's it. When the world tells you that you can't do something, grind. If you have nothing and want to be something, 
grind. When they say your talent ain't enough, that you don't have the resources, the means, the background, the education, whatever it is, get up and grind. Come from nothing economics, built on grind. Product of the struggle, poverty and hard times. The one they all doubted, no one believed or conceived. But that stubborn fool just kept dreaming the dream. The world is yours. Truthy attire, be yourself. And set the world on fire, higher. Smash every ceiling that the world puts in place. Grind, buddy, till that sweat comes down your face. I said, hustle, the war, the struggle. See, buddy, it's all the womb. The block is what gives birth to that champion inside of you. The ghost of fear, the spirit of doubt. Relentless are the jealous ones that try to keep you down. Established with sweat, built on grind. Come from nothing economics. I'm Billy Alls Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable, and to God be the glory. And I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I'm a warrior, champion, and that's what we do. You think you've won. The world thinks I failed. But the truth is, I got you right where I want you. Fire true music. Me and destiny in collusion. Feed the dream and starve the illusion. I'm not weak. I'm just strong in the making. You'll never make me tap out. You can't break me. Struggle made me. Watch me do it. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I move away from the safety and comfort of the familiar and instead aggressively pursue the unknown. Like David waiting on the throne. Ah, Cry. Greatness is the child born out of intense struggle. Ah, trials and tribulations are the factory that produce genius. When an average person experiences rejection, their motivation diminishes. When a champion, a warrior, tastes rejection, it makes them hungrier than ever. The biggest enemy of greatness is the undisciplined mind. Anyone who desires success at the highest level must first conquer their own thinking. As believers, we must chisel away with faith the illusion that what we desire is absent. Unwavering belief is the creative process that allows the full manifestation of what has always been. The law of attraction will bend and shape reality until the outside world looks like what we are seeing in our mind. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. We don't have to wait until we die in order to experience heaven. Our thinking can bring heaven to us now. Rise, champion, cry. Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Some of you are trying to sell a dream to others that you yourself don't believe in. Successful people buy in first, knowing that the world will eventually follow. Your thinking must stop having affairs and must remain loyal to your dream for it to become a reality. Your spiritual adversary needs your fear and doubt in order to sustain himself. True warriors will always rise. Most of those that we call genius, regardless of their field of expertise, created their masterpieces from an emotional environment of pain. The hurts became legends by channeling and unleashing those raw, intense emotions of afflictions into their work. We feel and resonate deeply with their artistic expressions of truth because of the agony and trauma they gave birth to it. So use the gift of your own trial and tribulation to propel you beyond the common limits of average human existence. Harness this powerful inner energy created from your struggle and use it as transportation to take you to that place the world calls greatness. All the great influencers who shook the world did so by finding the strength in being vulnerable and owning it. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I'm a warrior, champion, and that's what we do. You think you've won. The world thinks I failed. But the truth is, I got you right where I want you. Fire true music. Me and destiny in collusion. Feed the dream and starve the illusion. I'm not weak. I'm just strong in the making. You'll never make me tap out. 
You can't break me. Struggle made me. Watch me do it. I ain't running from hell. I'm bringing heaven to it. I move away from the safety and comfort of the familiar and instead aggressively pursue the unknown. Like David waiting on the throne. Ah, crime. Greatness is the child born out of intense struggle. Ah, trials and tribulations are the factory that produce genius. Find true music. Me and destiny in collusion. Feed the dream and starve the illusion. <laughs> you can't break me because the struggle made me. Dr. Billy Allsbrooks, warrior, blessed and unstoppable, by true music, to God be the glory. They think I'm crazy. They think I'm out of my mind. They think I'm just a dreamer. They've always underestimated me. See, they think I'm beaten. They think they've broken my spirit. They said, ain't no way he's gonna get up off the mat this time. He's done. They expect me to quit. They expect me to give up. They're waiting on me to wave that white flag. They think I'm all defeated. They can't wait to laugh at my demise. They can't wait to see me fall. They never believed in my dream. Yeah, they thought those death threats would scare me. <laughs> I'm immortal. Haters tend to write their history in pencil. This way, if you ever blow up, they can erase their actions and pretend that they supported you all along. But that ain't gonna work with me. Cause I remember what you did How the spirit of Jezebel got in you To try to break me You were too stupid to see that the enemy was using you As you crushed me into a million pieces I just got stronger Trials and tribulations are just chaotic voids Begging to be penetrated by the power of the mind The stumbling block of man is as ignorance as to where God's power truly resides he looks externally for the keys to his freedom, not knowing that the means to his liberation is already within him. One must die to the knowledge of limitations in order to rise above it. I am immortal. A million times you have tried to discourage me and rate me with your small mind. I die to the silly ways of your conformity and I have learned to thrive in the midst of chaos. Who cares anymore about your little opinion? It's what's in me that's going to make me now take me to the river of enlightenment. Cast your indictments as the water acquits me. I am immortal. Why do you look to the sky for what's already in your heart? David's God is living within you. The ancient scriptures are the key to liberation, but reading them with mortal eyes has caused you to make a prison of them. Begging, confused with prayer, gibberish, sold as faith, citizens of the world all synchronizing in chaos as daddy sits there on the throne of silence. What hurt me then shall pay me now. What broke me then shall make me now. Each failed relationship has the power to make a legend. Like alchemists who turn heartache into literary gold. Common souls wear a mask. No tolerance for pain, but the insane fearlessly pursue the love. The genius residing in the creative makes him immortal. Invisible are the poets whose truth are eternal. First name legend, last name immortal. Doubters can't stop a person who trusts God with the sky. When you start playing the game of life timid and start believing, God will put a kind of wind under your wings that'll have you looking down on the haters. It's hard for those born in the dark to believe that there is such a thing as day. But for those who dare to dream, the sun will rise in the morning. I say for those who dare to dream, the sun will rise in the morning. Let us all burn with the knowledge of immortality. As the flame burns, death shall not see the mind of the blind. The stomach of worms shall starve forever. Her hands of age shall not touch the oblivious. Those dancing idiots shall sing to infinity. Whoever dare look into the mirror of eternity, their mortality shall alone be forgotten in the arms of days. I am immortal. Greatness requires being bold enough to do something that doesn't make sense to the rest of the world. Only those brave enough to be misunderstood earn the right to be called legends. There's a reason that kings 
don't talk too long to peasants. Because if they do, the peasants start believing that they too are royalty. You saw my kindness as a weakness. You thought because I granted you access that you weren't equal with me. But only hungry eyes can see the beauty of wisdom. Only thirsty ears can hear the voice of truth. Only the tired heart can digest understanding. Only the weak soul can swallow revelation. Champions turn every mistake, defeat, and failure into a testimony. I'm immortal. I am the voice for those who have none. I am the light for those born in the dark. I protect the power for all the souls out there who are weak. I am the fire for those who are lukewarm. I am the passion for those who have yet to find theirs. I am the climb for those who have no stairs. I represent all the hurting souls who were told they would never be nothing. I am immortal. Motiversity, Dr. Billy Owens Brooks, and I am blessed and unstoppable. Somebody out there needs to hear this right now. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't live your dream. Tell them find true music. Impact one billion people. This is motivational art. I am immortal. Welcome to the Louvre. And to God be the glory. To those who by patience and well-doing seek for glory and honor and immortality, he will give eternal life. Romans 2, 7. I'm on the other side of this speaker. But even from here, I can see your struggle. I can feel your pain. I know what you're going through, man. Everybody done gave up on you. Everybody's done written you off. All the smart money in Vegas betting against you. That you can't get up off the mat. That you will never overcome this. You've been loyal. You've kept it real. Anytime anybody needed you, you were there. Now you're going through the struggle. You're going through the trial, you're going through the tribulation, and you look up and you say, where is everybody? I know you feel alone, I know you feel bitter, I know you mad at the world, but the question is, how are you going to respond? I am wounded, but I am not broken. I am by myself, but I am not alone. When I am weak, I know my God is strong, and I will not quit until I prove them all wrong. As the walls close in and the light fades, the dark choir singing in perverted ways, hell's opera, fire, the death of days, the blood of the lamb and his righteous ways. I'm not afraid of struggling and fighting alone. I'm not afraid of traversing the dark alone. I'm not afraid to climb that mountain on my own. I'm not afraid to die. I've always been alone. Yes, the struggle is real. And no, life hasn't turned out the way you thought it would. Even when you worked hard and put the time in and did the right things, still things didn't turn out the way you wanted them. That one you thought was a soulmate was just an illusion. That job promotion really wasn't a promotion, it was a jail sentence. I'm just keeping it real, that family that you thought was family never really acted like family. And those friends that you thought had your back, are your biggest enemies. Now here's what we gonna do. I'm gonna give you 24 hours to mourn, to cry it all out, a pout date. So you do what you need to do for the next 24 hours to get all that stuff out. And then I want you to answer this question. How are you going to respond? I am wounded, but I am not broken. I am by myself, but I am not alone. When I am weak, I know my God is strong, and I will not quit. Until I prove them all wrong. Kisses of betrayal, the knife cuts, the blood runs red, the sharks lust, emotional wounds, scars, broken trust. We got different vibrations, can't comprehend us. Romantic violence, flirting, making souls blush, screams of chaos, gorgeous dreams being crushed. The blood runs red, the sharks lust. They're about to wake that savage inside of us. Don't wake the savage. Now one day down the road, you're going to have to forgive these people that hurt you. 
But what I want you to do right now is to anchor this feeling, to channel all these emotions that you have on the inside, that betrayal, that anger, that bitterness. I want you to channel it. Now what the devil meant for harm, God will make good. See, there's a hidden energy, a hidden power, a secret locked in each and every trial and tribulation. And if you dig down and can find it, you can use it to go to that next level. Now you can anchor this energy. The anger, the bitter, the frustration that's in this situation, you can anchor that with all your senses in such a way that you can tap back into it and use it whenever you want. Channel all of that energy, that focus into your thing. Forgive, but never forget how this feels. So when you overcome, when you come up out of this, when you get back on top, and you start wanting to get complacent, when you start wanting to take off days and start making shortcuts, remember how you feel right now. Go back into this moment so that you never lose what you're about to come back and see. See, before this situation, you were good. But to be great, to be unstoppable, to be invisible, you need to go through this. You need to learn the lessons in this moment. Seize this moment and capture every ounce of knowledge, wisdom, and power that resides in this situation. And what the devil meant for harm, God will make good. Wounded, but not broken. In a coma, but not dead. Shh, don't wake the savage. This is Dr. Billy Owls Brooks, and I am. Impact one billion people. Motivation on. Welcome to the Louvre. And to God be the glory. Every day, life is going to test the edges of your resolve. And at some point or another, there will be an all out war on all fronts to destroy your God given destiny. Now, the enemy will attack your dreams, your relationships, your finances, your health, everything that you love and find sacred. Like a lion, he will be coming for it all. The sun will set and the dark will be ushered in. Voices in the sky will begin to harmonize and the choir of destruction will begin to sing their songs of fear and doubt with the intent of raping and murdering the greatness on the inside of you. The symphony of darkness will stir those closest to you to betray your trust at the most critical times of your life. The ambassadors of darkness hoping that you will tap out, that you will quit, that you will give up on all that is dear to you. Your enemy will slash, cut, and stab you emotionally. Attempt to weigh you down mentally, relentlessly using every weapon at their disposal. Because the truth is, the enemy fears your future. When you get knocked down to the mat, warrior, you gotta go inside and find that voice and scream. I'm hurt, scarred. You'll never ever break me. Hurt, scarred. You'll never ever break me. Hurt. God, you never ever break me. I'm wounded but not broken. Wounded but not broken. I'm hurt, God. You never ever break me. Hurt, God. You never ever break me. Hurt, God. You never ever break me. I'm wounded but not broken. Wounded but not broken. It's on. New year, new grind. I got a question for you. Are you living life, or is life living you? How bad do you want to be successful? Are you ready to level up in life? Are you ready to go to that next level? Are you sick of being average? I ask you again, are you living life, or is life living you? Less than unstoppable, the international world tour. Dr. Billy O's Brooks, coming to a city near you. I'll be teaching a four hour, life changing, Seminar on the art of greatness. Arise, champion. Every city will sell out. Get your tickets now. This year, we're taking this thing global. 27 cities Toronto, London, Paris, Rome. We're coming to impact 1 billion people. If you are serious about success, be at one of these events. Get your tickets now at blessedandunstoppable.com. Blessed and Unstoppable. Success starts with putting the right things into your mind. And my new book, Blessed and Unstoppable, was strategically designed to align your mind with the laws of success. This curriculum will teach you the inner mechanics required to go from average to phenomenal. 
from living a life with limits to being blessed and unstoppable. As you follow this guide step by step, amazing breakthroughs will happen. New doors of opportunity will open and favor will begin to chase you down. Blessed and Unstoppable is a 31 day devotional on the laws of success. This book will instigate the thought process and actions required to transform your life. Each day has a Bible verse, a teaching on that day's principle, a positive affirmation, a prayer for the day, self-assessment questions, success quotes, action steps, and a powerful inspirational message. Regardless of what field you're in, Blessed and Unstoppable is your blueprint for success. Get your copy at blessedunstoppable.com. Also available on Amazon.